What is the volume in liters of 10.3 moles of oxygen gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 2 atm of pressure? Okay. Well, to solve this, a lot of students would say, well, one mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters of volume, and I have 10.3 moles instead of one mole. So I'm going to do 10.3 times 22.4, and you could use conversion factors to do it like this. Okay. Now, here's a trick. This is totally wrong. Can you see why? Well, it has to do with this thing here. At STP, one mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters. But remember, STP is 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. Okay? 25 degrees Celsius and 2 atm is not STP. And this whole thing where one mole equals 22.4 liters takes up 22.4 liters of space, it only works at STP. It only works at 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm of pressure. It doesn't work at other conditions, say 25 degrees Celsius and 2 atm of pressure. So we can't use this information to solve the problem unless we are at STP. If you had to solve a problem like this, you'd want to use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, because the ideal gas law works when you're not at STP. I've got a whole bunch of videos on the ideal gas law. Check those out if you want to learn more. Okay, here's another really common mistake, and it's super tricky. Sometimes teachers and textbooks really love this one, okay? Here's how it goes. How many moles are in 29.4 liters of liquid ethanol at STP, okay? And a student might solve this problem like this, okay? Why isn't this right, okay? We're at STP, so we can use one mole equals 22.4 liters, and we can multiply that by this conversion factor. But can you see the trick here? We're talking about liquid ethanol, okay? And this idea of one mole equals 22.4 liters only works with gases. Okay, so don't get tricked by this. Always double check that you're working with a gas at STP, not a liquid or a solid. So if the problem is asking you about something that's a liquid or a solid, you can't use one mole, takes up 22.4 liters. You have to solve it in a different way. But just basically, don't get tripped by this. Don't get tripped up. Make sure that you're talking about gas at STP, not something that's a liquid or a solid. Now, I'm going to do two more questions where we just do some, some calculations between moles and liters if you want a little bit more practice. What volume would 0.735 moles of O2 gas occupy at 1 atm of pressure and zero degrees Celsius. Okay, so first of all, we look at these conditions and we know we're at STP, so we can use one mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay, so if we had one mole of O2 gas, it would take up 22.4 liters. We have less than one mole, so this amount of gas is going to be taking up less than 22.4 liters. But still, to find out how much space this would take up, we are going to want to take this amount of moles and multiply it by the amount of space that one mole would take up at STP. This is kind of how we'd think through it. And now to use a conversion factor, we're going to start with 0 0.735 moles, and we're going to multiply it by a conversion factor made from this relationship. So here are our two choices, with this on top, with this on the bottom, and flipped. We want to choose the one that's going to get rid of moles, so puts it on the bottom. Uh, I'll put it right here. Moles cancels out, moles cancels out, leaves us with liters. This times this divided by 1 is going to be 16.5 liters, which as we predicted is a little bit less than 22.4 liters. We're going to do one more. 